Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Joey. So today you join me here for a bit of a different video. So I'm going to be giving an overview and commentating over my race last week at Cal Speed Karting in the Super Series. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know if you guys want to see more motorsport content like this. All right. Let's get into the race. So I ended up qualifying in 20th after my second heat. I ended up getting a penalty for coming four pounds under the minimum weight limit. So therefore, for the main race, I wasn't really going to win or have any chance of getting a podium. So we just thought, you know, how many positions could I really gain? All right, so getting off the line, I did pretty well. had a pretty good reaction. And I didn't really gain any massive positions as everyone had a good start. But as you see coming into turn one here with the new 360 GoPro, we can take a look around that I pretty much was in a sandwich. So I just kind of had to improvise and I ended up sticking to the inside, which I think overall was a pretty good call, as you can see, as I was able to hold my line and able to pass a couple people through here. It was a pretty chaotic first lap, that's for sure. Um, I definitely wouldn't say it was without action. Now this corner, I definitely don't know if I deserved a penalty or not because there were a couple moves of mine that were a little sketchy. So coming on this guy, I went on the inside. It was a fair move and I got by him cleanly. But it's this move right here where I'm not sure. If you Now if you look, I end up hitting him and he actually spins out. So if we rewind here and we look, um, as you can see, he's actually coming more and more in. He, he actually gains a little bit of oversteer, as you can tell by his steering is pointed in the opposite direction of the way he's going so he clearly either had contact or a bad exit so i knew it was going to be tight now i was pretty much on the curb all the way i couldn't really move any farther over and as you can see i actually start to understeer quite a bit so we're destined to hit not in a good way here and so as i'm coming in we do make contact and as i'm sliding the thing is, though, if you look at his line, he didn't really give me racing room, which is why I think they just called it a racing incident. Since, to be honest, that was not great from either of us. And so that resulted in him spinning out, obviously. Now onto the rest of the lap. So far, so good. Um, coming down the back straightaway, pretty good speed. And then I do really well through Silk. And then I just absolutely send it down the hairpin. So I ended up gaining almost five positions here. So that was pretty good. And in total, I ended up gaining about uh, 10 positions on this lap. So definitely one of my greatest laps in my uh, so far very short racing career. So through here, not too much action. I'm just trying to get some clean track and catch up. But so far, we're in 10th right now, so gaining 10 positions, that's definitely no easy feat, but I'm very happy with that. Okay, so you now join me here on lap 3, where I start to catch the rest of the field, and I'm really starting to gain on this guy. I got a great exit out of turn 1. So I'm just trying to figure out when I'm going to go for a move. He does actually a very good defensive job into Contino, so I just kind of have to wait, but I figure let's get something coming down the back straight. And so we're gaining, gaining, but once again, he blocks me off in silk, but he does leave plenty of room, so we send it down the inside of the hairpin there. That came out pretty well, so that puts us in ninth, and so now we're just trying to catch the rest of the field. Once again, we got about a one second gap, so just try to get some good consistent laps in and see where we come out. So coming into Contino, he doesn't do too well. Starts sliding around, starts losing speed, so I'm catching him, but somehow he has decent speed on the straightaway. I'm not sure how that happened, but I figure we're going to have a move coming on him soon. But then I realize there's another car in front, and it was not a good overtake. It was kind of a wimpy half move. I ended up scraping the card on the curb there, so I really screwed that up. I'm still in ninth. I definitely could have been in seventh. And, and I'm actually almost overtaken there. So I'm just trying to do well. And I get a terrible exit. So it's all... I wouldn't say it's falling apart. It's not going well, though. I'll definitely admit that. But coming down for lap 5, I figured this would be lap 
we try to put some put something together. So in the short beach again, I just don't get a good exit. So I have to be very defensive here. But looking behind me, he is right on me. I mean, one mistake and he's past me. So I have to be very very defensive. I did pretty well. I'll admit that. So, I try to go for another move. It doesn't work once again. Very defensive driving. And all of a sudden, I'm now wheel to wheel through Silk. So I just gotta hold the inside line for the hairpin. So I let him get by a little bit. But once again, I have that inside line. So I'm good. I get a good exit here. So I'm not too worried about him. I'm just trying to catch him and get myself into 8th. Alright, so now we're catching him coming into bypass, and I send it down the inside. A little bit of sliding, but he's on the inside, so I have to be very careful. So I actually go around, and then as you can see here, we're three wide. So I realize there's not much I could do. He had cleaner track. So he goes in front of me, but I get a pretty strong exit out of short beach. So coming around, I just gotta find a spot to overtake him. And once again on the back straight here, I have more speed, but he has the inside in Contino, so not much I can do. But he widens up, so we'll wheel the wheel. But I don't get a strong exit, so I'm just going to have to wait. Coming into the hairpin, I'm now too far back to make a move. I mean, he tries sending it on the inside, but doesn't really do too well. So I realize let's just try to run finish this race We're about halfway through right now all right lap six now he now has a very big lead to me so I'm realizing I just got to get some clean track but he's starting to pull away from me my goal here is just to finish where I am and if I can gain anything extra that's great but if I don't oh well all right so I'm not sure why that card on the right there was way slower than me if you see him far back he started dropping back so I'm assuming he had a mechanical issue so that Ended up, I believe, putting me in 8th, although he could have been lapsed or something, so I believe I'm in 8th now. I'm still not sure, but so far, very good race. Alright, so you join me now on lap 8 towards the final sector of the track, and I'm starting to gain on this guy right here, but I'm not gaining massively. It's just been little slow increments, so I'm not necessarily gonna overtake him by the end of the race but we're definitely closing the gap that's for sure he gets a terrible exit out of there so I'm definitely gonna get by him on the straightaway here so you can see there he looks he realizes he's not really gonna have much hope there so he gets by but we did pretty well through there so I'm either in seventh or eighth I'm not sure if that one car was lapped or not so, so far it's been a great race, but the field is now very spread out just due to the different paces of everybody. So, my goal is just hold this position, finish the race, and, you know, just try to make the most of the weekend. Because being disqualified from that second heat really screwed us up. So, we're just trying to do the best we can. If we can finish this race in the position we're in right now, I would say it's a great weekend overall. Alright, so here's the white flag. So, lap 11, this is the final lap of the race. Obviously, I'm not going to catch the guy in front of me, but it's been a really strong race so far. So, one lap to go. Take it nice and easy. Obviously, try to defend my position, but just going for the best finish right here and try to make the most out of this race. All right, so coming up to the final corner right here. It's been an excellent race, gaining 12 positions. There's the checkered flag. Pose for it right there. And yeah. Just excellent race. That was actually a pretty good photo there they got of me posing there. But yeah, hell of a race for sure. All right, so let me know if you guys want to see more racing content like this. Uh, I definitely had a blast racing and filming this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. And as always, I'm Joey, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.